Hello, Baco Networks. It's Dave, and today we're going to be talking about the new market plugin developed for Baco Networks. So to get started, very simply, just type slash market, press enter, and there you are. So you're going to see three icons here. Uh, first one being global listings, my listings, and my profile. So let's go ahead and look at the first one. Click on global listings literally tells you every single item that's up for sale on the market. And if you want to buy one, you simply click on it and you will see a screen that has green wool for yes and red wool for no. Very simple. And here you see my listings. Click on it and you're going to see all the listings that you have on the server. If you click on it, it'll allow you to add stock from your inventory. You know, what you currently have and then remove listing if you don't want to put this on the market anymore. And that's all there is to that. Last thing we're going to look at is my profile, a handy little feature that's new. So you're going to see three items, sales, spending, very self-explanatory. You're going to have last sold items and you're going to have lost spot items. Again, this is all self-explanatory, but we'll go through it anyways. So if we click on sales and spending, it doesn't do anything because you'll see it's just part of that pop-up. So sales are obviously how much you've sold and gained money and spending is how much you've spent on other things, on other listings. So as you can see here, last sold items is basically what items that have been last bought from you. And it'll show up to 36 of them. And then after that, the one that was the Oldest will get replaced with the newest. And it goes from oldest to newest in that way. Lastly, we're going to look at last bought items. So as you can see here, again, I haven't bought anything on the server, but if you have, it'll show up here. And much like with the sold items, it'll be from oldest to newest. And after 36 items, the one that is the oldest will replace with the one that you've just most recently bought. Now, some of you might be asking yourself, well, how do I sell an item on the market? Well, you know, if you type in market help, it'll show, you know, a help page. So market, market listings, my listings, profile, last sold items. Like these are all things that you can just use as commands. They'll do the same things as the graphical user interface. Now, here is what you can do when you are wanting to sell an item. All you do is you just make sure you have in your hand what you want to sell. In my case, um, I sell this ranch upgrade. Why not? So all I would do is I would go market. If I could spell it correctly, market, create, and then, um, let's say 3000 just for, anything really here just for any kind of price point and what you can do is you can just do that and look at that and now if we go into market and go into my listings you'll see here it's now three thousand for one now of course you can always go ahead and you can specify a quantity if you have multiple but if you don't specify it'll just use all the ones that are currently being held now, another neat thing is the market search function. So if we go type in market search, and let's, let's say you want to search for iron, just for an example. It'll show everything that has iron in it. So iron ingot, iron pickaxe. But let's say you want to you wanna look for a specific item by a specific person. Market search. And we can type in my obscenely long username. And there we are. And it shows everything that I have for sale. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything that you need to know about the market plugin. Please note that this market plugin was very lovingly created by Christy. So definitely show some appreciation for him and also for Venny, who also helped create it. And, you know, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more helpful tips and tricks on Baco Networks. 
I've been Dave, and I hope you have an awesome time on the server.